So here's our barn in the early morn, and uh, we really are in the farmyard. Some big old cows. How's it going, cow? Definite commotion in the farmyard. Buongiorno. <laughs> they don't speak Italian. This spot, you want to chase? Uh... <laughs> you want to? Ch All right, go on. <laughs> the first dog I've met that chases stones. The moment has come, leaving the farm. Rush hour. <laughs> so I suppose we've got to go to the shop. So let's go to the shop. Now you've got to stock up on supplies in the Patterdale Village store and post office. Hey! Would you like a grunter? <laughs> Very nice. Arthur Wainwright. Alfred Wainwright. Oh right, all these are, they're all Wainwright. He wrote, wow. I don't like his style of writing, it's a bit twee. I find, yeah, it's old fashioned, yeah. I can't get through. It is. Do, 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 maybe he's waiting for coin. I'll put a pound in. You, when you called it, you got through straight away, Richard, yeah? Yeah. Well, so much for that. Maybe it was just engaged. I'm not familiar with the terms there. I think it must have been engaged, so no phone call. So, brought all our supplies from the shop and everything's pretty groovy at the moment. Sun's out. The only problem is the hard bit's going to be starting real soon. And that is uh, this mountain ahead. We've got to go up there, up to nearly 800 meters. I'd certainly feel more energetic than on previous days. And to be honest, I've walked even in Nepal, and you weren't doing so much serious up and down in, in one day because it was steadily up, really. Yeah, because it's so. I mean, melts so morning. 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 Lovely morning. Yeah. Isn't it just? Because the altitude is a thing. It's yes, like, yeah. That's a different... So there's Old's Water down there. There's people come up the trail. The village of Patterdale. Down there in our bunkhouse where we stayed. Down there. And it's not been too bad so far. I'm seeing loads of energy things. And there's the rest of gas. So, Angletown is our next port of call, as you can see over there. So we're down here on Angletown, this is where we're going to dine. <laughs> and uh, young Nicholas is, oh he was up there, now he's coming down to join us. Well, there's an isolated house there in the distance, wow, nothing else in that valley. Go and check out the edge. You're standing on the edge. Welcome to my kingdom. <laughs> A little prod just to. Uh... <laughs> this is a dramatic walk of tarns and lakes. Here's another one. This is a reservoir. We won't be going down to that. Only said if you stop. You me again. Oh, yeah. boss. <sighs> you get up here, though, isn't it? It is beautiful, though. Do you like that uh, angled tarn as well? Yeah. Nice yes. Trout yeah, there. Yeah. I bet. Canada geese on there. Saw those, yeah. We thought we'd find you there, actually, having your lunch. Mm. Robin's well, been talking about you a couple of times. <laughs> so I said, oh, they pissed off early this morning. They're open. No, I said, no. No, we don't do We're going to cook our own breakfast. You want you having breakfast tomorrow? Yeah, please. All right. She delivered us bacon, sausage, eggs, mushrooms. We had to cook it all. 
Oh, well, I did. <laughs> and you stayed in... Um, it was uh, in a bunk house. A barn, yeah. converted barn. Really yeah. nice. So, 780 metres. The boys are ready. Pretty much up the top. Here we go. The hike. Doing that, but we'll do this thing rather than the uh, rather than the, the lakes. The still, yeah, yeah. yeah. the lakes yeah. should look. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the lakes are coming down, Mark. Sorry, we're going up that path. These chaps. Enjoy yourself. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Cheers. Yeah. See ya. All right. So that peak uh, just climbed up. It was actually the knot. Over there is High Street. So that mountain's called High Street, and. Uh, where we're we going now, along this path to the real Kidstow Pike. Now, Kidstow Pike's right over there, and apparently, it can be seen all the way to Kirby Stephen. And we're going to go down from there, walk along the edge of that reservoir. Now, having traversed this whole section, people walking along there. Walked all along here, and uh, we've come at last to Kidstow Pike. Views far and wide. The end of the lake district over there. Yeah, we're quite stealthy. So they're all on here now. Everybody. Yeah, they didn't say much about it in the book really, because it goes past that in the sound, but they didn't mention the sound. The way my guitar was called the. They're marching down the hill now to the Hawes Water. Still about eight miles to go. We're on a steep descent now. Down, down to the water, and then we've got to walk all along. Yeah, just the tiring last stage of the walk now. Down by the side of the reservoir. We've been hiking now for seven hours. Very good, but I'm uh, getting a little bit worn out now. Still got all that to go. It's the final countdown. The old boys are going to turn up in a minute. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Mile have to go. Then the pup. Then be it. Send Nick into the washroom. We've been, how long have we been on the road now? Eight hours. It's been a long one. There is the end of the reservoir. We should hit a road soon. And then, mile up it to Bampton. So on the road to Bampton, and we've come across a, a little sheep. Come through the fence. That little lamb hasn't got a clue. Yeah, but how far is it going to run away? Lambsy! If I get over to one side, then maybe it'll go around. There you go. personality of a border. She knows where she's going. I think we do now. How far is the uh, Mardale in? Oh, less, less than a mile? Yeah, just around the bend, really. Fantastic. This is the most thrilling part of the day, as far as I'm concerned. Nine hours after starting the walk, we arrived at the Bampton pub, which is the Mardale Inn. Oi, look at that, Camberwell carrot cake. You know what a Camberwell carrot yeah, is? Yeah, <laughs> 
Jadi ya pasti ada acaranya. Yeah, there we go. You've only got yeah. So, so I hit the wood once and then I can hit the next. Yeah, okay, okay. But I was the person they've got before she can stop. I just want to see it. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh
this here road to take us into Shep. Looks like there's a bit of rain where we've come from. Down here to this here standing stone. How did they move it? How indeed. We were just heading over that away, up there, over that little hill, beyond those trees, to Shap. So we're finally making it into Shap. We're coming in from the fields, cutting into the middle of Shap. We're going to spend the rest of the day chilling. So here we are in Main Street Shap. We've seen one pub there. Going up to our accommodation, the New Inn. Oh. Our doors open at 3.30. Yeah, I think they're going to be a bit... It's where we're staying. It's new in the farm. It's about to go out on the street. Still waiting the paintings on the wall. It's a nice place. The guys are staying in tents out there. And uh, check out... Okay. Day seven today. After having an easy one yesterday, where we just hung around in chat, we're off to. Uh, we're going to Orton first, which is supposed to be the prettiest village on the whole trail, and we're going to be staying on uh, in a farm, but in a caravan on a farm. So I wonder what that's going to be like. But it's a sunny day. The weather's been good to us yet again. Um, our legs are fresh because we only walked about five miles yesterday. Well, we're off. Ugly from the outside, but pretty from the inside. So it was a big place at one time. And very nice at the back. Yeah, ugly, but ugly uh, gray uh, the back doesn't exist because I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> back into Shap. Shap Central. We're going up Moss Grove here, up into the fields. Just outside of Shap. Coming up to the motorway. Kiss the horse. Big old team Video. Team. Kiss it. <laughs> yes. Are you zoo? <laughs> I think one of them's a cement works, the other one's a quarry. That looks more like a cement works, yeah, no? You can see the M way right up there. Shep in the distance. Motorway. I think this section of the motorway is not that busy. We're out in the moor. So we've got the Pennines there in the distance. Oh, a little bit different to what we have been walking on. We should be coming up to some stone, a stone circle. Prehistoric stone circle. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. There is a certain chill in the air. Yeah. But, uh, but it's, it's lovely. It's nice now the sun's come out. And now the micro light's gone. Yeah, the noise, yeah, that's nice when you can... So what are you saying to that again? No. <laughs> yeah. Here's a big standing stone. There's only one over there. There's not much of a stone circle though, is it? <laughs> stone and, line. Well, if it's a big one, they might be... Look, there's another big stone I see over there. That looks a bit more impressive. And up the path. Oh. And there's the man. We've just seen a signpost or sign for our B&B, Newhouse Farm. That's where we're going. You can see we're still some way from it. The style there. Orton, one mile. Clear. <laughs> Very funny. Yes. Let's go. On the very edge of Orton now, this rustic old farmhouse. I can almost smell the beer. I can see the sign there. Undo the door for me, young man. Good job. There's our bed for the night. Are we uh, going the right way here? I don't know where you're going. 
<laughs> Orton. Orton. <laughs> Straight down. Thank you. Thanks. It was a bit funny walking through your garden. <laughs> Straight down it is then. Walking our way into Orton. Hello. What are they? I did some planting and... Hmm? What are they? Just, oh, those are raspberries, I'm not covering those. Those, those are okay, the raspberries grow in Scotland. Uh -huh. so these are some beans I planted a couple of days ago and then somebody said the frost's coming back. Oh well. And it just, it's just a waste of time gardening here. <laughs> till about July for three days. <laughs> it looks like you do pretty well. That was an example of one of the locals. This is supposed to be the prettiest village on the whole of coast to coast. And so far, it's certainly living up to that. Wow. It's real pretty. By road, six and a half miles from Shap. But uh, the thing that's got our interest right now is the George Hotel up ahead. Epic Cup final today, they're all watching the telly probably. Yeah. FA Cup final, Liverpool v like Chelsea. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna have a Guinness, please. Can I have a Guinness, yeah? Which is the strongest of these three? <laughs> um, I think it's a Cumberland Hill, is it? Okay, I'll have a pint of that. Right. Thank you. So, after a few hours in the pub, watching the FA Cup final. Chelsea won. We got the two mile hike to our farm. Yeah, right in the middle of the village as well. Yeah. I think we've found our accommodation for the night. Uh, and beer B sign is just ahead and the green caravan, which might well be where we're sleeping tonight. I'm gonna find out in a second. Check it out. Hello. Hiya. We come. think we might have a caravan booked here. Yeah, but I thought it was a couple. No, oh, it's a double bed, is it? Well, no, you're all right. Jim, what's your Double. Lovely place you got here. Yeah. Well, miles from that now. Where are you now. from? We're from near Reading. Oh yeah. Long way. This one here. This looks nice. Wonderful. There's one bedroom. Thank you. Beautiful. Well, hey. Other, there are other ones here. You'll have to. When the caravan. It's like minus three degrees in here. Mm -hmm. Wrapped up in duvets. I got my hat on. Hog over there. He ain't got his hat on. Ain't colder than me. Ain't cold. I'm toasty. <laughs> I don't think no so. No thanks to the heating in this place because there ain't none. <laughs> no heating, no tea. <laughs> no nothing. It's much more. This galaxy night. But we shall survive. It's day eight. After a freezing night in the caravan, no tea, no coffee, no nothing, no facilities. We got Nick here cleaning his boots. He had a good shine on them. Nice boots. And uh, yeah, today we're going to Kirby Stephen. Kirby Stephen, about another 10 mile walk, not too bad. And we're staying in church, which is going to be good. Praise the Lord. Yesterday was what? Quite an easy walk as well, just 10 miles from Shep. Went over a bit more through some farmland and stuff. Went to the pub, watched the FA Cup final. 9 30, we'll be setting off hopefully in the next 15 20 minutes. Yeah, some big in farm, very attractive place. Big too. It's all this and all that. We're off down this track. It's pretty warm after our freezing night of last night. The bones have finally warmed up. A bit of a local 
beauty spot here, I think. The sun is out. A couple of cars. Sun big in town. And the boys here are chilling, getting some rays. Nearly getting some zeds. <laughs> yeah. We could both do with a coffee right now. So if anyone wants to come up with goods, nice espresso. One sugar, please. One sugar for me and a bit of milk, dash of milk, make it uh, yeah, macchiato. Yeah, it's the most pleasing aspect. It's an interesting place here with these giant rocks scattered a bit. Don't know uh, what they are exactly, but. This is a prehistoric site, a whole area, and it's one of the most important prehistoric sites in the country. So, walking down this steep hill, distancing to that old building, so there's an old railway line there. Here's the bridge of the old choo-choo train, it would have run along that line there. Alas, it is no more. Yeah, the massive viaduct which the train would have gone along. Here's the Smardell Viaduct. Smardell Fell, Smardell Bridge. It must have been Smardell. We come down from up there, down to the house, crossed over, and here another view of the viaduct. I wanted to walk over, but we couldn't. Up there. Behind me, you can see the lime kill. Going down the hill. Behind, behind one of those hills is Kirby Stephen. Praise the Lord. This is where we're staying, in church. <laughs> Fantastic. I haven't got any, that's actually all I've got. Yeah, <laughs> I thought for the first time, but I wish I got any crocs as well. We're going in here, we might as well now. Right. Yeah, we might as well check it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. What's your name, Mark. 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 Nick? Mark. 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 Hi, Mark. Hi. Sue and Mike. Sue and Mike. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Nick, then. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Thanks a lot. Kirby Stephen Hostel. Where do we go in then? Is the bloody door in? Surely. I like this place already. Yeah. Typical market. Square thing. It looks, going on. Yeah, it's a nice looking village. I thought it looked a bit funny back there, but. Oh, yeah, it was a bit council. How often are they? Stick all those grotty bits on the edge, don't they? Yeah. Tonight's customers, what does that mean? That'll be us. What, we take, take that? We'll have a look. <laughs> Sorry, we're full. Mark Davis. Sorry, I won't be here when you arrive. What? <laughs> I will call in the morning. But if I miss you, please leave £36 on my desk. Use room number one and call me any time and leave a message. Marvellous. Why not? So how do we get in then? I'll just uh, show you the... Well, I'm right. quite sure we simply open the door. No, it's got a code. That's trusting. Yeah. Z. Eight. Six. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's got Chinese on there. What? So full of voice I'm going to show you the uh, dining room and I expect you to say a little prayer. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to do a sermon. Check out the stained glass window. Oh, this is the lounge up here. That's the dining room down there. I would say it's the best place I've stayed in. And the Lord said, Follow me, and then you shall be free of sin. And the Lord is the one who knows the righteous way to goodness and greatness. And you may ask, Who is this Lord? Who is he? The Lord is Brian. McDermott. All Our praise Lord, be to Brian. Brian McDermott, who has taken the Reading Football Club to the greatest heights. Hail. Promotion to the Premier League. All hail.
where all is great and good. And he has done this upon a limited budget. Amen. Amen. So, downtown Kirby Stephen, and that one's church has been converted as well. Delicatessen. Uh, Reading Way. What? Reading Way? Reading Way. Well, no, no down, Reading. Down south. No Reading. Oh, down south? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whereabouts down south? Um, well, do you know Windsor? Near there? Yes. Yeah, that sort of area. Yeah, I used to live there. down south. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, where did you live? <laughs> we live here. With my husband and I have lived here for four and a half years. Oh, very nice. And he got a good job as soon as we got here, which was good because he got some money. Yeah. <laughs> where did you live in the south? Oh, oh, in the south, Hampshire. Oh, where, where in Hampshire? That's where I live. Yately, I live. Fairham. Fairham. Fairham, down okay. by Southampton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in fact, I wasn't far from there recently. I was in Southampton. No. So I live um, near... But it was best for me to go down south because I met a wonderful, wonderful man. <laughs> oh, yes. Is he a <laughs> And so I don't want to be in the house by myself. No. So I have to come out and see if I can find someone to talk to, you ah. see. <laughs> <laughs> I expect there's lots of people around here, isn't there? So you just have to say, stop talking and get away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Better keep away from this crazy woman. This is the market square. <laughs> what a nice little town this is. Well, oh, we're on nice our way, mate. Nice to talk to you. Yeah. Oh, careful. Oh, sorry. Bye <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Hey, you get out of my way. Churchyard of Kirby Stephen. Oh, they've lined all the graves up over there against the wall. Yeah, and there. And there. Right. That's so that you play football. <laughs> Down this little. I like these little uh, under the house yeah, passages. Really cool. They're cool. 